Hello artists! For this project, we are going to be drawing a word in one point perspective. For this project, you're going to need a pencil and eraser. The sharper the pencil, the better. You're going to need a ruler and something to color with. For this, I use color pencils and markers, but you can use whatever you have at home to color with. So let's get started. Folding your paper in half lengthwise is where we are going to begin. So just fold that paper up right in half and unfold. To begin by drawing our letters or our words in block letters, first you have to choose a word. So I need you to choose a four or five letter positive word. Make sure that it is positive and school appropriate. So some examples could be hope, love, cool, smart, happy, smile, brave, dance, heart, glad, grow, true, yeah, cute, boom, cool. All of these words are positive four and five letter words. So choose whatever word you wanna use and let's get started. Right now, I chose the word hope. So on this line that I have here, I'm going to draw all my words and letters above that line. So if you need a little bit of help of drawing a block letter, here's an easy way to begin. You're just going to very, very lightly draw the letters of your word. And you can see I'm not drawing in block letters, but I am drawing lightly and everything I draw is above this halfway mark of my paper. To make your letters into block letters, all you have to do is outline your letters. So I am just going to go around all of the letters that I first drew. And every time I hit the end of a line, I'm going to turn with a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. And that's what's going to make my block letters. Now for the letters O, I'm just tracing one circle around and one circle inside. So whatever letters you have, don't forget if you have like a letter R or a P like I have here, don't forget to trace the inside of that word all around the letters that you drew, whatever word you decided to use. Now when you're done creating those block letters, you're gonna go back in with your eraser and just erase your initial line. That is why we drew it so lightly. Remember, draw light until you get it right. Anything that you're planning on erasing, you're gonna wanna draw nice and light. So just go back in and erase all those initial lines that you drew. Perfect, now I have my block letter word, hope. To draw this in perspective, I need a vanishing point. So right near the center bottom of my paper, I'm going to draw a single dot. Now I need all of my letters. It looks like they're all coming from this one vanishing point, right? So I'm going to start with the middle letter. Now if you have a four letter word, you can start with the second or third letter. If you have a five letter word, you're gonna start with the third letter, the middle letter. I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna start with the letter O. I'm going to line it up with my vanishing point and I'm gonna move it over until I hit my letter. So you can see it's at the vanishing point and it's lined up with the edge of my letter and I'm gonna draw a straight line. The letter O is a little tricky. It's probably not the best one to start on, but you'll get the idea. So now I'm going to do the other side, line it up with the vanishing point, move my ruler over until I hit that letter right there and draw a nice line. Having a nice sharp pencil is really important for this project because once you get down here, you're gonna need really, really fine lines. Now that you started with the center, you can choose to move to the right or move to the left. I'm gonna start on the left side. And every spot that I have a corner, the letter H is a really good example. I'm going to draw a line that connects to my vanishing point. So I'm gonna line my ruler up with my vanishing point. I'm gonna hold it there and I'm gonna rotate it until now it's lined up with the corner of my letter. You can see it there and my vanishing point. I'm gonna draw a straight line. Now I'm gonna run really, really close to that other line and then once you get down here, it's gonna look like they converge. And that's just the point of perspective. It looks like everything is going back to one point and it all comes together. 
So I'm going to do the same thing with every corner of my letter. I'm going to line it up with my vanishing point and draw a straight line. I have another one here. And I have a corner up here. Now you might consider this part of the H a corner as well, but you'll see that when you line up your ruler with the vanishing point in that corner, you would be drawing through the rest of the things that you drew through that you already drew. So we're not going to draw that line. It takes a little bit of skill to figure out what lines you do and do not have to draw, but it'll all come together and make sense the more you do this. So I'm doing the other corner, making sure that both points of my ruler are lined up with the vanishing point and the corner of my letter. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here. And you can see I'm actually on the top, I'm going to stop right here where I run into my letter H. So that part looks like it's actually going behind because my letters are now turning into 3D letters. So now that you did that side, you're gonna go ahead and do the other side, lining up your vanishing point with the corners of your letters. If you line your ruler up with the corner of your letter and it's going through something you already draw, drew, that means that you don't have to draw that line. So here's something a little bit different. It's a curve. I'm going to take my ruler, line it up at the bottom with my vanishing point, and then swing it over until it hits that letter. And then I'm going to draw my line from there. So curvy letters are a little bit more tricky, but you guys will get the hang of it. And then again, the last letter E, the corner with the vanishing point and all the points do the same. Now, if you have problems trying to figure out which corner you're supposed to draw your lines from, just raise your hands and we'll help you figure it out if you're drawing the right line or not. Seeing again that my E line would hit this that I already drew, so I stopped it there and the same thing's gonna happen up top. So that's it, now I have my 3D letter that's drawn in perspective. It looks like it's all coming back. It looks like it's really, really far away at this vanishing point. In this one, I decided to make it a little extra special by adding two symbols on either side, a heart and a smiley face, and I connected them to the vanishing point in the same way, noticing that I stopped that line right there. That's totally up to you, that's artist's choice if you wanna add anything extra. That's totally fine. Whatever you choose, you're the artist. Here's another place where you can be the artist and make some choices. You can outline your artwork or you cannot outline your artwork. So let's look at this example of how possibly you can color your artwork in. So I took a, a skinny Sharpie and I just outlined my letters and my symbols. I did not outline all of my perspective lines. I would suggest not outlining your perspective lines to begin with because it might get a little funky and the initial lines that you drew are gonna be correct. So then when I decided to color, I used a mixture of markers and color pencils. I used markers to create the patterns on my letters and then I used color pencils to color in all the angles to my vanishing point. You can see that I chose two different colors and went back and forth. Now here's something really cool that makes it even more interesting. For each letter, I chose two shades of that color. So let's look at the letter M. I chose green to color into my vanishing point, but you can see that I have a light green and a dark green. If you alternate light, dark, light, dark for each letter, it just makes your artwork look a little more interesting. You can have the same color for every letter. You can have totally different colors for every letter. It's all up to you. You guys are the artists. I wanna see what you guys create. So take your color pencils, take your markers, your pencils, whatever you wanna to use to color this beautiful artwork and finish your drawing. I can't wait to see what you guys created. See you guys soon, bye.